In Australia, as of 2021, every mainland state is allowed to produce genetically modified crops. Genetic modification still faces criticism, but this is rapidly shifting. The trend towards GMO helps the Australian economy and brings better yields plus drought and pest resistance. Along with GMO, creating products from natural systems is all part of the growing field of biotechnology. Biotech aims to understand microbes, cells and their genetics and use them to our advantage. Our planet contains roughly 1 trillion species, all with unique skills and adaptations. As we understand the genetic language behind these traits, we can copy them into new areas and revolutionise the way we live. I'll give you an example. Resurrection plants are a group capable of surviving dehydration for months or even years. And within hours of receiving moisture, they are reborn. Scientists hope to isolate the molecular processes behind this phenomenon and then transfer it to modern crops, creating a future where plants are protected from drought. When it comes to GMO crops, we can enhance a plant's genetic potential, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. Biotech is a massive industry and has applications across almost every aspect of human life. To make it easier, each application is assigned a colour. Red, medical. Green, agriculture. White, industrial. Yellow, food. Blue, marine. Grey, environmental. Gold, bioinformatics. Brown, desert. Violet, law and ethics and dark, biological warfare. The exciting and scary reality of today is that we can manipulate cells in almost any way imaginable. Our understanding of biology is becoming so intricate, we can now sequence an individual's entire genome, all six billion pieces in less than a day. The first attempt at this, the Human Genome Project, took 13 years. With our new understanding of biology, the sky's the limit. Some of humanity's greatest challenges, like food shortages, struggling ecosystems, renewable energy and disease, are all being tackled with biotechnology. Expectedly, we have seen massive growth and scientific focus on these fields in recent years. The biotech industry gets little mainstream attention, yet it has become a fundamental part of every person's life. Whether it be wearing cotton shirts from GM crops, the E10 that fuels our car, or receiving vaccinations. The biotech industry all plays a central role. Even better, this industry has the potential to support thousands of young scientists into the future, but will require a push from universities to attract more students into this field. We saw this problem firsthand, starting our own undergrad degrees with over 10,000 other students in STEM, to later find ourselves in a class of only 15 studying biotechnology. With continued support, we can use the many areas of biotechnology to improve the world. The trillions of little bioorganisms can boost ecosystems, keep food on our plates, provide energy, medicines, textiles, and remove waste. The more we study these organisms, the more we will see their power. And although relatively minor, the acceptance of GMO crops is an important step for Australia as we begin our slow transition towards a future built on biotechnology. Okay, I hope that's usable. It's tough.